Rolling. Good afternoon. Last episode of 30 for 30. Uh, yesterday we did the first part of trailer loading by leading Sorbo in the trailer. And today I would like to try out to have him coming in, going in uh, by driving him in the trailer. So as I was saying yesterday, uh, it's pretty handy to be able to drive your horse inside the trailer uh, so you can just stay outside and uh, and close the door behind him if you if, if you if you are really leaving so we're gonna give it a try I don't know what's gonna happen uh, why are you always yawn at the beginning of the sessions <laughs> we'll see what the horse says right uh, I'm going to get Stormborn on the right side, like yesterday, I'm trying, not going to change it. Same trailer, everything is the same, just the front part, is, this time it's closed, uh, the, the, the bar is closed, so he can just run out the other side since I'm going to stay outside, or I'm going to try to. I'm going to first start to do the trailer loading by being on this uh, left side of the trailer, so I can do both driving him and leaving him if he needs to. I'm gonna start here and if he's gonna get any problem at being driven in it, I can get in with him. I'm gonna push on the nose here a little and keep driving him. Give him rope and then wrong and that's my horse in the trailer. From here I might get in with him, rub him a little bit, so he doesn't feel so unsafe. Oh, he took down the bar. Fantastic. <laughs> so hopefully he won't uh, decide to just wash out the other side. We're gonna try to take him back. It probably won't happen him. he's gonna go. I didn't put the pin in. Let's see if we can get it back. Because with pressure from behind, he's thinking about going forward. So I'm just going to send him forward. I'm not going to start any uh, discussion here. I'm going to come pick him up from the other side since he's nice and quiet. Because that's just as important as being able to work on. Uh, on your horse coming out of the trailer backwards uh, as coming out from the front. Just because we have this, this ramp, it doesn't mean that they're always going to come out from the front. If they're going in a big lorry for the shows, then they have to come in from the back side. If they, they are, we are using the other trailer, the old one you see on the back there, uh, they have to come in by going outside backwards. And some horses get really troubled about going outside back. So same thing. Break the hind quarters over. I just sent him in a little circle. If your horse has our times like going straight forward, remember when we did that fence exercise that we were sending them a, uh, uh, parallel to the fence and they had to keep, uh, they had to just keep going straight and follow that feel of going straight. That's basically the same thing, just not with the fence, with the trailer. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Driving forward, drive and lead together. Drive, drive, drive. Good, this time he didn't put the head underneath. I come here, I'll grab him. Let's see if I can send him a little bit more forward. There we go. Good boy. The bar, honestly, it's probably my last thing that I put on the horse. Maybe, see, I'm rubbing him with, the, with my lead rope. So that would be a bar touching his butt. Uh, and it should be, he shouldn't create any problem in your horse. He shouldn't try to kick you or anything. Now, what you see before that I was trying to send them, I uh, have them coming backwards. I'll see if I can do it now. I'm just gently like holding their tail and 
simulating the backing up that we practiced before, good boy. So I released there because he took a couple of steps backward. So I try the same thing again. Offer a little here with the tail. Good, and here I'm close enough that I can grab my hunter and send him back up on that trailer. Possibly a little bit straighter than this. There we go. So all the way, all the way straight. Good. Uh, like, I could be a lot more particular in my trailer loading, but I have 10 minutes. And if you can get those of these horses in the trailer so it's nice and smooth, then you are uh, you got a good point. You can get things fancier. We can get some more problems solved. Uh, having them in coming going in with a little bit more uh, more class. But you see, like he takes a little break while he's here. He faces me. I'm just. Uh, kind of like pushing on his nose and sending backwards uh, sorry backwards pushing on the nose and sending forward that's all I'm doing so same thing that I did on that side I did it also on this side I'm gonna ask him to come back offer a little feel from the tail that's the only part I can really grab here he's thinking about making a turn so I'll have to try to restrain him up otherwise this thing can happen so now it's too late all I can do all I can do is to keep sending him backwards here nice and easy that they don't get uh, they don't get hurt this again that's also why I was staying more on that side so I can keep them a little bit uh, straighter see he's already a little bit shifted that way Let's see if we can do it better than before you're backing up an arc from yes from two days ago it's also pretty handy so that's definitely gonna be one of my uh, one of the things that I have to practice with him backing up from the right side where he can go can go in create a little bit of momentum I leave him there there are other things that I like to practice uh, a little bit more besides this tendency of uh, being a little bit too much on that side so perhaps I could even close this bar and see if I can give it, see if that will help me to be a little bit straighter Yeah. 
working. Maybe this time I'll back up. This way. Good. I'll back up a circle to his right. So the hind quarters will have to go left which is that's where he's got the problem before. There we go. Back up this way. I need the hind quarters to go to the right. Here it's getting very sticky. That's I have to get a little curve there. Good boy. I'll try that again. Much better. Not just the front quarters to the right, but high quarters. There we go. And we are basically getting our horse to get in uh, more and more uh, in a confident way. He's getting more and more confident getting into that trailer. Uh, and hopefully within half an hour or so he'll be really really uh really really good so maybe we take a little break here i keep working on it and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll finish up the video that's okay for the last 10 minutes on getting in and out basically um and he improved some so i just wanted to show how uh, I would quit the day because it was fine before as well, but I felt like the horse could uh, took a little step forward into the what we were doing. So I just want to have to bring the hind quarters over this way, turn him over, turn around, and my horse goes in. something that really uh, intimidates them or anything uh, from here if you like where is my butt bar if you like from here you can finish up by putting your butt bar in turn it close uh, have your lead drop here you can put it on their on their back up like that and then uh, your horse is basically in uh, the other thing we're still working on this one uh, and that was my uh, my issue on uh, him coming uh, coming out straight
okay? It's, it's a work that it needs to be done like bits by bits, inch by inch, like everything. You don't get a solution in three, two, one. Uh, so some days it gets be will get better, some days it won't. Uh, I noticed that it could be also, it's also my fault because I have the lead drop on this, on his right side. And that of course creates flexion in him to his right, which encourages uh, the hindquarters to go left. So perhaps one other thing that you can do is I can shift, uh, change my knee drop. Uh, he's not coming out. Let's see if I can take him in again. Good. He's really light. As soon as I start to try to lead him, he's really, really light. So from here, looking at my knee drop, not to get too messy. Good. And you can do the practice basically this way. Uh, you can see. Step up. This way. I offer with the tail first and my knee drop will come after. way he's coming behind, uh, coming all out a lot straight so oops. so we always want to make the right thing easy and some people say make the right thing easy and the wrong thing thing difficult and yes I, I agree with that but how about we just try to make it easy and not uh, make it really difficult for our horses to learn so there are a lot of really good quotes of my mentors that I that I like, and this one is one of them. Uh, but because we are, I don't know, for, for the process that I have, uh, the journey that I'm doing with this particular horse that is so so nice and so and so young. Uh, today I feel it about. I had a rough day. My dog. Uh, is in the hospital with a broken leg so my life is complicated enough how about we just try to make it easy for our horses it'll be easier for us as well so I hope you enjoy those 30 days uh, just as much as I did did you enjoy it Stormorn? I hope so <laughs> um, for questions of course i'm there for chatting even more i'm here for a beer or a wine or whiskey whatever you want to bring over and of course chatting helping you with the horses be your friend anything that is nice and fun and will make your life better i'll I'll be here. Thank you so much for following me all, all the way to here. I hope you guys stay safe over even after the quarantine is over. Um, and enjoy your ponies. Hmm? Good boy.